All right, guys, we're here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. Um, Mike is installing the Arlen S setup on his bike. Arlen S setup that's on my bike. Duffy had just gotten his installed yesterday on his bike in Chrome. So we're going to show you a side comparison of what that looks like side by side in case you guys are in the market shopping for the Arlen S setup and you don't know if you want to get the Chrome or black. Um, Mike ran into a little issue with these because he on his bike originally had the Dakota gauges, the digital gauges, and they don't fit any clamp whatsoever that I'm hearing now. Um, so these are right here. This is the Arlen S setup right here. These are the Dakota gauges. It fits in it inside, but when you go on the back end, yes. that gets blocked off with that right there. So the only way to correct this would be to mill out this section, mm -hmm. but on, which can be done, but unfortunately that section lines up right here. So if that gets milled out, it's gonna cut into this area and you're not gonna have any material for clamping. Yeah, and yeah. it could crack. Yeah. Um, there, you know, there's other carriers, there's other companies out there, like this is the original garage moto setup, which these will work because we only have to cut out this thin metal in the back. Yeah. We cut a hole back here, then that. we can plug the gauges up. Yeah. So, but that's not the setup I chose for me. So he's gonna have to put the um, stock gauges back in there. We'll, we'll walk outside, I'll show you guys the side-by-side uh, -side comparison um, with the black against chrome. The chrome looks sick. So if you're really into chrome, awesome. If not, the go with the black. So these are mine right here. I got mine in black um, with the chrome bar. So I, I, did, I did a two-tone. And these are Duffy's right here. He went with all chrome, as you can see, super, super clean. Now on his bike, obviously both bikes have chrome, but he's he's going all out with the chrome. He wants chrome everywhere, which looks super sick. So you could do all chrome, you could even do the chrome riser with a black bar or the black bar with a chrome bar like I have set up right here. So both of these are the Arlen S 10 inch riser. Um, they both have the thrash and supply mid band bar, which feels great. I originally had the low band, absolutely hated it. It was comfortable, but it, it didn't look as good. But it's a super nice uh, setup. Everything is right in your face for you to see everything nice and clear. Super comfortable. And it's different. It's just different from everything that's out there. It looks good. Feels great. Good quality stuff. RLNS makes great, great stuff. How are you liking it so far, sir? It's pretty comfortable. I mean, you know, I had the uh, Spades bars on there before. These aren't much different. They're about an inch and a half higher and maybe about an inch more pullback on the bar itself. So I don't notice a huge difference, but I do notice my arms aren't as uh, extended out, so I'm a little more comfortable. Yeah. You know, a few more things getting done on this uh, within the coming weeks too, make it look a little better. And do the color match interfering, the color matched um, top vent. And then eventually, once I get the color match interfering, I'll do the uh, chromed out housings, chromed out perches, brake reservoir, these hand guards are going to get swapped out to uh, steel. They're going to be color matched to the bike. And then um, a lot more chrome on it. Chrome, baby. I'm going to go chrome to uh, offset everybody else's black bikes that are sitting here. <laughs> That's right, man. Chrome too. So, you know, eventually the lower legs will get chromed when I do the wheels. The wheels are going to get powder coated. Yeah, I'm dying to do mine. But yeah, it's, good. it's a good setup. I mean, I've, I've had Arlen Ness par parts on bikes for years. I mean, this was. Um, yeah, they make great stuff, man. This out of all the other setups was probably the most cost effective if you're yep. gonna go like between like Krauss or um, yep. Thrashing or you know. Big time. So that, that that's honestly one of the reasons why A, when I chose to get mine, I was looking at cost and the functionality of it. Every it's just it's it's perfect. Yeah, I mean realistically it comes down to you, do you want the gauges right here mm -hmm. or do you want them here or here? Yeah. You know what I mean, I like this, it doesn't block the screen. I could see right over them, you know, the radio, everything, GPS, whatnot. And, you know, now they're right in my face, too. So with the Spadies, they were still down below. I kind of blocked a little bit of them. Yeah. Another thing you guys should also keep in mind. So, for example, I'm going to show you his seat. <clears throat> his seat has a, a more of a lower profile 
from the power that I have right there. So I mean that that could also kind of change your, your 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 ride comfort as well. You might feel like you're more in the bike than out of, but the seat has a lot to do with it. But as far as the setup, it's, it's going to be basically identical. It looks really good, man. Yeah, if you were shorter with the whiplash sheet, you'd probably want the eight-inch riser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. But that's gonna be it. Just wanted to show you guys that side by side. Like I said, if you're on the market, it might be very, very helpful for you. I've had that riser set up for some time right now, over maybe like a year and a half or so. Um, and it's good. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. It's awesome. It's gonna be it, man. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.